Man, I really messed that up. And we gave away the stone we had for it too. Let's get let's get a stone area so they can go get some stone to make them. About three people. Let's get 20. Nothing too crazy. We definitely need to have that up by uh, spring. So that way we aren't destroying our uh, meat reserves. Meat reserves, chat. We want them to have meat. I do believe we are good for right now. We're good. Hopefully nobody gets struck by lightning. We got plenty of transportation. Everybody's doing a great job of going back and forth with all the goods. Traders here. They're high. High commission. I think we hold here. We have plenty of things that we have on our own, but we don't need to be spending anything right now. So we have plenty of points. We're close. We got plenty of logs now. We're gonna have to get a lot of mud when it comes to it. We're gonna have we're gonna have to get a lot of straw though. So before we do the housing, I think it'll be a good idea to stock up on straw. I think that'll be a good idea. Well, digging is going to be a little bit low on that totem pole for us. So here's what we're going to focus on. We have 15 here. We're obviously going to be able to upgrade twice. So I say we go for underground mining. We're going to have to get all three. It's not negotiable, but I think we wait to upgrade our houses until we have enough straw. I think that's what we got to do on that front, but we need to make sure we have all the upgrades to do it when we want at our pace. I think that's going to be the way to go. We're doing a great job of getting the tools done, which is good. I think everybody has at least sim at least close to everybody having we're going to have more. Everybody's going to have warm clothing here, which is going to be awesome. I think we're just going to let that roll now. They're going to eventually get to the point where everybody's going to have a tool of their own. We have plenty of harvesting tools. We're getting close to the point where we're going to want to we're going to want to actually uh upgrade here. I think we're getting close. I'm trying to think of anything else I need to do before we upgrade. I'm wondering how much it's it's going to be. If these are going to be 15 each, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. We need to plan out where we're going to put our crops though. I think our first set of crops, we're going to put them here. They're obviously going to be outside of the fence. If we have one, I think the fence line we're going to have to have is going to run from here all the way down here, all the way down. And then we're going to, we're going to do like a little horseshoe here. I think that's the way to go here. We don't want it to be too big on the, the fence area. You want to keep the fence area specific to housing. I think that's going to be the smartest thing to do. So spreading out the fence makes it problematic, hard to upkeep, hard to defend. But if we can make it solid where we use the mountains to our advantage, where we have a nice fence and a gate here in between a gate here, a gate here, and then a couple of gates here on the side to make it easy for them to get in and out. If they want to come in the water, we'll be ready for them. But we want a gate by the water so everybody can still stand there to fight. That's what I'm thinking about now. So for this winter, if we want to upgrade, it's going to be a good opportunity to put some crops down in the spring. So I think it is time for us to do this. Let's upgrade. So we are hitting the Neolithic period. All right. So now we have the thatch. Oh, I didn't do the mining. I did the, oh no, dude. How close are we? We're three away. Okay, we have thatching unlocked, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Let's get some crops down immediately. So we wanna build up, a, make it a little bit diverse. Let's get a row of emmer, a row of icorn, and then a row of barley. I think that's gonna be good. If we can hold that down, I think we'll be fine. All right, we got some mortars down right on schedule. 
right on schedule. We do need to hunt. We definitely need to hunt now. Spring's going to be coming up. We need to go ahead and start refilling the, the food pools here. I believe there is a, there's a bison out here. Let's see if we can take them out on our own. Hopefully we don't have any issues here. That'd be a good kill going into the spring. They're going to give us the information for farming here, but I think we're fine. Hoping that we're doing good on this front. Let's get a couple of these. All right, tools are starting to balance out, which is good. We want everybody to have at least one. Our workload is going to start getting higher in the spring because we're going to have these crops. So we want to be careful here. We don't want to give them too many crops to worry about. Heck yeah, this is starting to get really good. We have plenty of grain. We're making plenty of bread. Let's see if we can balance the bread to people ratio here. If we can do 15. I think that's the highest we go. We want to keep it half to the population. We don't want to overdo the grain. We want to have grain in stores just in case things go bad with our food. Uh oh. All right, we got him. One of the dogs took a hit though. Still a solid kill. We needed that. We do have thatching now. So now what we need to do, whenever we have a fish fishing spot, we need to also, in the same respect, have a mud spot. So now we need to collect mud. So once we do that, we'll be fine. How is our food storage? Food storage is fine. I do believe the first thing we're going to upgrade is our storage when we get a chance to do it, but we're going to need some straw. So this will likely be in the winter when we start to upgrade. Hopefully these crops are healthy. That's why we had three different types of crops here. We want to make them as healthy as possible. Give us the option to keep getting food. Yeah, our, our meat reserves are getting low, but we do have more options now. Eventually, we're going to need to do some stilting here. So it makes it easier for us to get across the river and to go hunting a little bit better, right? So I think that's going to be coming. I think that's the next one we do after underground mining. Mining has to be a priority next. If we can get one more knowledge point. We got to do it. We got to do it because we're going to need we're going to need to build underground mines immediately to offset our con a consumption of flint right now because it's very high. I think there's a lot of food, but it's somewhere else. Not here. I think they're over here a little bit. Maybe not. Let's see where they are. There's so they got to be somewhere, right? But we're, we're obviously we're going to be relying on different sources for food eventually. But dude, these animals are spread out a little bit and they're far and wide away from our base. What I'm hoping to do eventually. I, um, what I'm hoping to do is expand the colony, uh, expand to a colony to kind of give us a second location if we can. I don't know how we're going to balance it with food, but we'll, we'll probably have to get some domesticated animals to kind of pace that population once we get to that point. But ultimately, ultimately, that is the plan. I want to see if I can uh, spread it out a little bit. Let's cut down those trees, keep them off of our open space here. We definitely need to hunt right now because we're running low on the the limit that I really want to kind of hold it to. I want to see if I can stay above 40 as long as I can. So that way, either way, at the end of the day, everybody has a bite to eat. No matter what happens, no matter what happens, everybody can eat, right? I think that's the way to go. Now, this is a good spot. We have we have, okay, we hit our limit on how many people we have that we can accommodate right now. So that's a sign that we're growing. So let's set this up. Let's get a couple people to do that. Since it is in our territory. I believe we have tan in here, which is good. We need to build some housing right now. We could build a hut. Here's what I think we do. I think we upgrade everything first. 
before we add houses and i think we'll be fine we definitely need to get some mud though let's see how much mud we can uh, hold here yeah let's go with 30 with mud i think that's a good stopping point for the mud not that stream but obviously the mud or at least the stream of recording i said stream we need to hunt them this will be huge and we can get all of them Eventually what's going to happen is we're going to have to start building some stables so that we can domesticate some animals. I do believe once we get to the goats, it's going to be good because we'll be able to get some cheese, but we really need to boost our population now that you mention it. So upgrading our housing, getting some consistent mining done, it's going to be huge right off the bat so we can keep getting tools because we're running out of flint, which is not good. We are running out of flint. Not good. It's not good. Make sure we turn on the we need to turn on the, the harpoon here for our bones. All right, we got it. Let's go right away. We need to build a deep mine here by our beautiful. All right. Now we have that problem solved. Eventually we're going to need some fortifications, but next I think on the list, on the docket, we really want to be able to move around a lot better. So we're going to need to be able to build bridges. The well is probably going to be the last one we do here, honestly, but it might not be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Do we have water collection yet? Oh, we do. Let's set up the water uh, spot here. I forgot we had pots, so we can we can take care of the water situation a little bit better. I did not realize we did not have the pot, like the water situation set up. That was a mistake as well. We just want a little bit of drink for everybody. Everybody can drink some water. All right, the trader is here. This is actually pretty huge. We can get all this straw. Interesting being able to get Some wool right off the bat could be big, but we'll wait right now. Do we have anything to really trade with? We don't need stone right now We are gonna need some bones for the harpoon, but we'll be hunting So this should be easy to trade here Let's give ourselves a bit of a buffer on our food count here. I think for some reason the animals aren't here right now. So we need to take advantage of our opportunity here while we can. We want to keep the logs because we're going to need them to build right now. We're a little short, so I need, let's give them a couple logs, nothing crazy. And we can keep chopping down some of those trees. That was a really good trade because it puts us back over 50. We still have all of our resources with the exception of the bones. We can go find some bones, chat. We can find them. We'll find them together. We'll find those bones. Those bones may be walking around, but we'll find them. That's dark. <laughs> oh, that's so dark. All right, we need to find some animals to hunt here. Oh, we got them. Yeah, butcher, butcher them up. Get them back into camp. Bring them in to our collection. Indeed. I do believe we're going to have to hunt some horses. Yeah, let's keep it simple here. Let's see if we can get the one in the green here. Take their younglings. Eh, why not? Let's take a few of them. Let's get all of them. <laughs> Taking out the Megalopolis family. It'll be fine. We have a mine now, so we're going to need some more. We got plenty of picks, actually. That's good. That's really good. 
So now our workload is, workload is expanding a bit. Did we lose somebody? I think we lost somebody to old age. That must have been what happened. We still have some kids coming up, so we're, we're doing good. We're getting close to the point. Once we get at some of the mud up, we need to extract some more mud. All right, the mud and the fish are done. So let's move this over. We're going to move them harmonious, harmonic, uh, um, harmoniously together so we can build up those supplies of mud and fish. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely want to work on that. We want to get our mud up before we start upgrading. We're at 125%. Our workload is super high. Hopefully we can chop down some of these trees uh, before the fall. We don't want this. We, we don't want it this high when the fall comes because it's going to be harvest season. So we're going to need to go get our crops, which are all healthy, by the way. Very good. We definitely don't want we definitely don't want to be in a situation where we're, we're too busy it's, and then we get attacked or something. That'd be devastating. I've had so many attacks from Raiders in a harvest season. It ain't even funny. It's, it's in, it's enraging, so to speak, because it's like, dude, not only are you, not only are you rude, you're rude at the wrong time. Like, don't be, <laughs> I know you're trying to just live, but come on, brother, get out of here. Like, yeah, that kind of thing. So we're gonna have plenty of different types of food, which is great. We have nuts, berries, fruit, all kinds of stuff, man. We got good fish, raw fish, cooked fish, all that stuff. And we're getting all the fish out of the water. We're getting the mud we need. It's a good baseline here. I'm wondering if we need to add some more houses here, but once we upgrade to, once we start upgrading, We'll be fine. I want to upgrade our storage first. That's the most important because we're running out of space big time. We need to accommodate our new population, which has already hit its cap again, which is outstanding. We definitely need to start upgrading here. Hopefully we can get some mud here soon. All right, the fish is already fished out. Yeah, we're out of storage spots. Not good. Let's get a couple of uh, mud things here because we're going to need all the mud we can get. Let's put some mud there. Let's put our fishing here. Let's let this part of the river heal. We're getting close. We're getting close. I'm wondering if we could put a quick, you know, tent down and we can upgrade it later, maybe. Because having more people could lower our workload and we have plenty of food. So I'm thinking that may be the move here. Let's put up another tent. Let's put up a couple. Let's keep it simple. We're going to put up a couple more tents. We have plenty of places for them to eat and socialize. But we really want to, we really want to, I know we're getting close. Uh, how much will it take to upgrade this? Eight mud. We don't even have eight mud yet for one, which is not good. We really need to get some mud going here. Let's get five people on the mud. I think if we get some more people getting some mud, that's going to help us upgrade it because we're running out of room here. That's going to raise our workload a little bit, but I think if we can just get all the mud out of these few spots, we'll have enough to upgrade our storage and we'll avoid, we have no Flint. What do you mean? We have a mine. What do you mean? We should have more Flint. Everybody's got to pick. You've got to pick. We got to pick. We all got to pick. <laughs> nah, it's all good. All right. So workload's lowering a little bit just before we get to fall. I think we're getting close here. We have enough room to expand a little bit with our population, which is good. We want them happy and we want more people to show up because obviously we have a great welfare situation here. Our popularity is starting to grow. We're starting to learn who we are. We're starting to mine the flint. We're, we're gathering some of the crops, which is going to be good. We have plenty of dogs which is also good. 
We have plenty of dogs for hunting. We're in a really good spot for where we're, this is a really good start to where we want to be. I think we're starting to get some more Flint now, which is good. Storage spots are still an issue. We're still out of storage, but I think we're storing some of the same things. So it's not bad. Is this full? This is full. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add another rock pile. Add another wood pile here. We do need to hunt again. Hunting is going to be a regular thing now because if we take a day off hunting, we're going to run out of food and we don't want to do that. It gets bad. Trust me, it does. It gets really bad. Well, you guys went out here and got them. Insanity. All right, we're going to have to expand on our hunting tracks here. We're going to have to eat some horses. The horse is going to have to get eaten too. Fall's coming. Let's see if we can get these guys before it gets too bad here. We're getting to the point where it's going to, it's going to be close. I think all of the animals are over here. That's fine. We know where they are now. Okay. They're over here. So we may have to go hunting across the river now, but we'll be fine. Let's, let's just keep the hunting simple. Let's keep everything simple. We'll be fine. Hopefully we're getting some good mud here. How much mud do we have now? We have nine mud. This is the one we need to upgrade. We'll do it. We'll do it in the winter. We'll upgrade in the winter. We'll do it in the winter. Once winter gets here, we're going to upgrade our storage first. And then hopefully we can get enough mud to where we can, uh, do you have any mud on you, brother? We need the straw. The bones wouldn't hurt bones, bones, bones. Hmm. Wouldn't hurt to get one of those. I'm pretty sure we need it. We have plenty of food for now. Wouldn't hurt to grab some. Not a bad idea to always grab food. Not a bad idea. We can get this close. We can get this close with the stone. Can we throw a bone in there? Bones in there. Throw a log in there. We're good. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. All right, let's take this one off. So we aren't overdoing it. We're going to take out both of these muds. Let's take out actually all of these. We need to get some, we need to let the mud come back a little bit. The fish is good. We're good. We're in the right fishing spot. We need to get some better mud spots here. So we're going to have to alternate these a little bit more. Let's make sure we have at least five people on mud at all times. We want some people coming to grab the mud. All right, perfect timing. Our workload is lowering right in the fall. We definitely want that. We love that. We love to see that. So we're going to harvest these crops here. We actually need to make these a priority because we don't want to waste a, a harvest season. Let's Let's get those done. Not too worried about the storage situation right now. This is going to pop up a little bit more because we're on the border here of upgrading. Are these both full? No, they're not. Okay, we're good. Everybody's got harvesting tools, so we should be good on that front. I think we can stand to get another flint mine. I don't know how empty this one, this one's still plenty full. Let's just leave that alone. We don't want to overdo it. It's going to give us the, we ran out of Flint alert a little bit because we waited to get that mine up. We hit the wrong button. That that's, you see where your decisions kind of get you a little bit. You got to make them on time, on time. Like you gotta, as they progress, you gotta make it. You gotta make that decision, a good decision. We're going to have plenty of grain. We're going to have plenty of straw. We definitely want to build up our straw totals here before we do too many, too many upgrades, but we definitely want to upgrade our storage capacity here. 
it keeps our food fresher so it doesn't spoil and then obviously we can store more which is gonna be good looks like they're getting the mud out of here they're definitely getting that mud going that's what we like to see let's keep that mud flowing we like mud it's a muddy mud all right fish have left the fish are gone we have no flint i need to keep an eye on those alerts because i'm telling you one of these is going to be like oh my gosh they're raiders brother they're raiders we don't like raiders raiders are bad they're really bad all right i think we're getting close here on the mud we had 13 i want to get it to at least 16 before we upgrade our storage on each side we're gonna do that during the winter hopefully we can get a little bit more mud before we do the upgrades but we are in prime position to start our process of upgrading upgrade so the next one we want to get is the transportation and then once we get defenses we're gonna to have to get ready to fight that's essentially what's gonna happen here once you unlock the defenses the game's like oh it's a nice wall you got there Hate to see someone attack it. Actually, I was wrong. They're already here. Sound of Bimmy Light! We have an incoming, 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 incoming. Get ready to fight. Incoming. Mayday, mayday. We have a bogey over. Get ready to attack. Are you ready? Attack them with all your might. Today, we will be brave. Be brave. Attack! This is the first strike. Can we take him out? We got him. They're all dead. Not the dogs eating their bones. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. We survived our first raider attack. Holy moly, dude. So the best part about with the raider situation, whenever they do attack, they leave behind tools. Sometimes they're better tools than what you may have in the moment, but we need to outpace them. So they're in Flint and they have bone. So that means we're, we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. We, uh, we're, we're ahead of the game. We all, we have all Flint spears here. We don't have bone here, bro. Looks like somebody took a hit there. I hope they're okay. Who is this? Oh no, we don't like that. It's all right, it's okay. All right, we got plenty of food. Did we get enough mud yet? Hopefully we get some mud here. Winter is here. So we're gonna be able to collect a few small peas and stuff like that. So let's start the process. We need to upgrade this one first. Let's upgrade that hut. And then once we get enough mud, we're going to upgrade the next one as well. Let's see if we can collect some mud here. Again, we'll, we'll let the mud and stuff heal. How is our fishing going? Where's our fishing spot? Fishing spot's still good. Just for the process here, let's see if during the winter we can grab some extra mud. Good mud. Good mud. Let's put it on three. Hopefully we can get this. Uh, hope we can get our storage upgraded here before the end of the winter. It's giving us the up. It's pushing us a little bit. It's like you need to upgrade your storage. I know. I know it's an issue. We'll be fine though. Morale is great, which is awesome. We have good morale. Everybody's working hard. The person that got attacked and kind of got hurt a little bit. The lady is coming out great. She's strong. She took out three Raiders. She's insane. She's cracked. You love to see it. All right. The upgrade is underway for our, our storage here. They're going to take down the previous uh, building and then put up the new one. We have plenty of straw for the winter. Everybody's got plenty of warm clothes. I say we're, we're on target here. We don't have any issues other than just our storage and getting our housing upgraded. We don't have many issues here. 
We do need to keep hunting though. We can't stop hunting anymore. We can't stop. 